I'm Simon H, Muscle After 50 coach, and naturally jacked 54 year old. Welcome to my first Muscle After 50 Q&A. My first question comes from one of my newest subscribers, and it reads like this. What is the ideal sweet spot number of gym days? Four, five, or six? To be honest, I'm not a fan of four, five, or six days when it comes to build your muscle after 50. And while I hit the gym four times every eight days, only two of my sessions are for building muscle. The other two are functional training focused. Okay, while I don't like four, five, or six training sessions for muscle after 50, that doesn't mean that it can't work. Now, if you're training four days a week, and say three of your days are focused on muscle building, and the other one is more focused on functional training, that's a perfect, that's a perfect combination. And the reason why is because you can use a higher level of intensity of effort and progressive overload while having enough time to be able to recover. And that's all provided that your sleep, nutrition, and overall recovery is on track. But for the sake of this video, let's play along. Just imagine that I could only choose out of four, five or six gym days a week and the focus was solely muscle after 50. Now, believe it or not, there are some pros and cons with each of these days. Now, when it comes to building muscle after 50, finding the sweet spot for the number of gym days can be absolutely crucial. While younger individuals might recover faster and be able to tolerate more frequency and volume over the long haul. If you're over 50, you need to find that balance which is effective for muscle building while adhering to adequate recovery time. So let's start with four days a week and its advantages. Now the first advantage is you've got adequate recovery time. With free rest days, your muscles have more time to repair and grow reducing the risk of overtraining and injury. Advantage number two is better adherence. Now, training four times a week, you're going to be more likely to be able to stick to that schedule, even if you have a busy life outside of the gym. And the third advantage is you're going to have more balanced workouts. So you'll be able to do splits like upper body, lower body, push-pull, You'll be able to do full body workouts and that's all without overload in a single session. Okay, so with every advantage, there may well be some disadvantages. And the first one or the main one will be that progress might well be slower. And that's because you're training muscle groups probably less frequently. Now that's not so bad of an idea, but for some, Progress might well be slower if you're only training a muscle group once or twice a week and you're not using the highest level of intensity or progressive overload. Okay, let's move on to training five days a week. Now, the first advantage is you have optimal frequency. Training five days a week can provide a good balance between workout frequency and recovery time, allowing for more frequent muscle stimulation. Training five days a week also allows you to incorporate a better scheduling. So you can incorporate things like push-pull legs. Now that gives you adequate time to be able to give each muscle a bit more attention. And also with more frequent workouts, you might get better progress with muscle growth and strength gains. Okay, a disadvantage to training five days a week is that you might have more fatigue accumulation. Training muscle groups more frequently means that you're gonna get a higher accumulation of fatigue, which means that you're going to have to consider using deload weeks to be able to compensate for that. Another disadvantage with training five days a week is scheduling. Five days a week is slightly harder to adhere to if you are running a busy life outside of the gym. So that's always worth paying attention to. Now we're coming to six days a week. Now the first advantage is you're using more frequency, which could equal bigger gains. You heard me say could equal 
bigger gains. Advantage number two could be specialization. Now, if you have a couple of weaker muscle groups, you've got more time to focus your attention on those areas. Another advantage is that you're building discipline. Routine and discipline comes with consistency. And training six days a week consistently is going to build discipline. Now, let's hit some disadvantages. And I haven't got to tell you what the first one is, but I'm going to anyway. You've got less recovery time. Now, as I said earlier on, recovery is especially important when building muscle after 50. So that has to be taken into consideration. Training six days a week. Could you also be leading yourself down that injury route? Well, training six days a week, you really have to consider that the risk of injury is going to be much higher than if you were training four days a week and resting three times a week. Well, let's consider as well how time consuming six days a week actually is. I mean, it all sounds good when you're thinking, oh, I get to train six times a week, but you're only resting one day a week. And you've got to be really consistent and disciplined to be able to carry that through a training cycle, two training cycles, and thereafter that. So when you add that all up, it may not outweigh the risk of injury and burnout and all the other stuff that comes with it. And before you know it, you may be missing a month or two out of the gym. For men over 50 aiming to build muscle, if you had to choose between four, five, and six days, the ideal number of gym days would fall between four and five. Here's a practical approach to optimizing your training. Now, as I said at the beginning, it's not my ideal setup, but if you were to be interested in four days a week, this is how I'd probably line it up. I would begin with four sessions. So on day, on day one, I'd probably do upper body, upper body pull. Then on day two, I will do lower body pull, rest on day three. And then on day four, I will do an upper body push. And on day five, I will do a lower body push. Then on day six and seven, you have those days to rest. Now, with that being said, I would assess and judge what my progress was like over, say, four weeks. And if I was really adamant that I wanted to train five days a week, only at that point, once I've assessed how my recovery is and what my progress is looking like, would I even entertain moving up to five days a week. Now, the key takeaway here is that building muscle after 50, your number one priority after hitting the gym is got to be about recovery. Recovery, making sure that you're sleeping well, you're eating well, you're eating enough protein, you're hydrating yourself with enough water, and you're doing all of the things that are going to help you to bounce back and be able to employ intensity of effort and progressive overload. Because after that, those two are the cornerstones of building muscle at any age. Also, with that being said, adherence to watching how your body reacts to fatigue soreness. Those are the little clues. Joints start hurting, tendons, anything like that. These are warning signs that you may well be overtraining. So those things can't be ignored. And also employing regular deload weeks. When you're taking your foot off the gas, so you're not using so much intensity and you're not using progressive overload. You're just cruising for a week so that your body can get rid of that built up fatigue accumulation. And another point, your joints, especially your tendons and ligaments, they take longer to heal than your muscles do. So when you employ regular deload phases, it gives your tendons and ligaments time to catch up and that is super important if you're trying to build muscle over 50. Ultimately the final decision is down to you to how many days a week you train whether it's four five or six or whether it's like me only training for building muscle twice a week. Now I'm a firm believer that the higher the intensity the less volume and frequency actually need. 
But ultimately, the final decision will be down to the individual. Now, that's the end of this video. Please like, please share. And if you're not a subscriber, what are you doing? Because in here, this is the best place for building muscle after 50 tips. Stay safe, keep smiling. Peace.